How you doing? I'm Big Tony from PlumbingVideoTutorials.com. I've been getting a lot of viewers on my uh, site asking me some questions about circulators and stuff that uh, they have a problem with no heat and uh, how can I help them uh, fix the problem. So I'm going to do a video for you today about it. Okay? This is a basic circulator pump. Okay, it's called a 007 made by Tanko. Uh, what it does, it circulates the water uh, on a water system, of course. And uh, if this thing goes bad, it's not going to circulate the water. It takes the hot water from the boiler and goes through your system to give you heat. There's an arrow on it which shows the flow of the water where it goes. Uh, sometimes the older systems are facing down. Years ago, they used to do a circulator sucking the water back to the boiler. But they figured out that uh, pushing the water around is better, so now the circulators are facing up. The arrows push the water around. Okay? Uh, very easy to change. This is a flange that goes on them. Uh, you got to be sure to specify what kind of circulator you have for the flange that you need. Okay? There's a little rubber gasket that goes into the circulator on the top and fits in. That stops any from water leakage. The flange goes on top. This is a takeoff flange. It fits right on top. Okay? And you use the circulator bolts, one on each side. And you tighten down evenly so the flange locks down in one spot. Uh, after you finish this, pro this process, uh, isolation valves. They usually, one is usually under the circulator and on top of the circulator so you can just shut them off without any losing any water and change the circulator uh, with no problem. If you don't have that, that's when you have to drain the system. But at that point, there's going to be air in the system. And the way you get it out is by shutting down the valve that feeds the water out of the boiler. And there should be something like this called a boiler drain. And it takes all the air out of the line. So what it does is it circulates the water tree system. And when all the air is out, open it back up, and the problem should be solved. Uh, these come in different ways. You can put, get a T like this, it's called a three-quarter by half copper T, and they also make them three-quarter by half female T. This one, you could sweat in, okay, and you don't need the female T. Sweat both joints, it's great. If you don't have that, you can just put a little Teflon around this, uh, put a little pro dope, and screw it in on the female tape. That's basically it. So just make sure you know the flow of the water that it's going in by the arrow on the circulator. A little wiring to be done, no problem. It's just a ground and a black and a white wire. Make sure the boil is off so you don't get uh, a little shock. And uh, that's it. If anything I can help you with, uh, visit my site, and I'll answer all the questions I can for you. Have a great day.